रामाय राम भद्राय रामचंद्राय वेद से रघुनाथाय नाथाय सीताय पति ए नम अरण्यकांड चैप्टर नंबर फिफ्टी फोर सीता प्रेजन हाउस द रेस्टेशन बिगिन नाउ As she was being carried away helpless by Ravana she saw five mighty monkeys sitting together on the top of a mountain and flung in their midst some of her ornaments wrapped in a piece of cloth for said she to herself who knows but these might acquaint rama with misfortune that has befallen me ravana noticed it not in his anxiety and preoccupation The tawny-eyed monkey heroes could not take their looks off Sita as she wept and wailed, the hot tears raining from her lovely large eyes. Lake Pampa came into view and Ravana, who till then cast anxious glances in the direction of Rama's cottage, lest he should be pursued, took heart and rejoiced to see that the princes were nowhere in sight. He directed his course to Lanka with redoubled speed. He forced his fate in the guise of Sita to follow him to his house, a reluctant guest, even as a fool would wear a serpent of cruel venom as a belt. Straight as the arrow shot from the bow of a redoubtable archer, he crossed forests, rivers, lakes, and mountains with the speed of thought and reached the shores of the ocean teeming with crocodiles, whales, and other marine monsters. The father of waves silenced his rebellious waves in fear as he set his eyes on Ravana who drew near with Sita in his arms. Serpents and fish vanished from view. From on high came the warning cries and curses of Siddhas, Charanas and other celestial hosts. Ravana, you are almost at the gates of death. Meanwhile, Dashikriva entered his capital and with him Sita, his doom incarnate. He passed through spacious streets and vast blocks of dwellings and reached the women's apartments. He placed Sita in his own rooms as she swooned away with fear and grief, even as Maya of yore placed Swayam Prabha the Apsaras in the cave marvelously fashioned by his magic. Then he sent for the Pisacha-faced Rakshasis and said, I entrust this lady to your charge. No one, man or woman, should so much as catch a glimpse of her without my express orders. See to it that you show her every respect, reverence and honor that I receive at your hands. Gold, gems, garments, ornaments and whatever her heart might desire should be placed immediately before her with the speed of thought. Should you chance to earn her displeasure consciously or otherwise, that moment is your last. He came out of his harem and stood pondering over what remained to be done. When he saw that before him eighty mighty Rakshasas, valiant, cruel and utterly fearless, blind in his conceit at the boons he had received from Brahma, he praised their strength and said, Arm yourselves and proceed straight to Janasthan. You know that Khar and Dushan were stationed there. Rama slew them in battle and the countless warriors. Boundless rage fills my heart to think of it. I am ever on the watch for a chance to avenge their deaths. My soul knows no rest. My eyes no sleep until I slay them in battle. Those sinful wretches shall die at my hands, those murderers of Khar and Dushan. And I will rejoice even as a beggar who lights upon a priceless treasure. Station yourselves there. Nay, fear not, you are more than a match for him in strength and skill. Send me constant reports of him. Be on your guard. Be not deceived. Ever wait for a chance to kill him. Be not disheartened at the sad fate of Khara and Dushan. I have had occasion to test your strength and bravery and valor in numerous battles. So I send you on this mission, confident in your powers to accomplish it. The eight Rakshasas could not contain themselves for joy at this unusual praise from the monarch and proceeded straight to Janasthan, having rendered themselves invisible by the power of their magic. Thus Ravana carried away Janaki by stealth from Rama's hermitage and infatuated with desire, he earned the enmity of Raghava, yet his heart knew not care and rejoiced. मंगलम कोशलेन्द्राय मखनीय गुणाप्ति चक्रवर्ती धनुर्जाय सर्वभौमाय मंगलम 